Kjære søra, og velkommen til en ny episode av Hjernesopp. Hjernesopp, Hjernesopp, Hjernesopp. Det som er greia nå, er at jeg bor nå midtertidig på Frelsesarmeen sin bolig og omsorgssenter, mens jeg venter på en kommunal bolig i lista som NAV-kontoret da skal ha satt meg på for å gi meg en ny bolig. Jeg tror at jeg flyttet fra Risøy, hvor det er ikke trivelig så. Jeg har jo bodd på Sjeisvang i Hestivry. Men jeg må flytte herifra også etter å ha røyka i korona. Hvis du lurer på hvor lenge jeg har bodd på Sjeisvang, så er det cirka så langt. Cirka like lang som skjegget mitt. Og nå er det snart matservering her. Så jeg tar opp i to klipp. Men en liten ting først er en veldig herlig ting jeg har funnet på en brukt handel. fra 1902 veldig interessant engelsk tekstbok med masse historier i denne boka er noe mitt reisefølge frem til ja, Gud vet når eller eller Elideus vet når eller Zeus vet når eller kanskje din hjernesopp vet når jeg har ikke peiling. Hallo igjen, ærede sjåere av Hjernesopp. Hjernesopp, Hjernesopp, Hjernesopp. Hjernesopp, Hjernen. Hjernesopp, Hjernesopp. Ja, nå har jeg barbert av meg. Det er lange skjegget, og ser helt annerledes ut. Ok. Jeg føler meg sletter i hodet. En annen ting som jeg fant på den antikvitetshandelen som jeg kjøpt boka på, er CD-albumet her. Jeg synes det så veldig fascinerende ut. Og det er veldig artig musikk. Men jeg har aldri sett filmen. Det er en musikal. Jeg har aldri sett den. Hint, hint. Så... Det som er... Det som er fascinerende nå med den her da, at jeg fikk tak i akkurat den her nå, er jo at sånne tog som det her, er veldig vinn noe høyhastighetstog og vakuumtog. Vakuumtog er det nyeste på norske universiteter og på å utspekulere hvordan de skal lage det og funne noen greie måter da. Så det er ganske greit ut da. Han skal komme seg fra Stavanger til Oslo på bare noen minutt. Husker det ikke helt omtrent en halvtime, eller noe sånt. Så det er jo veldig kult. Og det er sånn det er jo framtida da, mye smarte. Bedre miljøvennlige løsninger. Siden jeg ikke har så veldig mye å snakke om, jeg hadde egentlig tenkt at jeg jo viser om litt pusteteknikker av yoga. Men yoga har jeg sluttet med. Så det funker ikke. Da skal jeg lese en historie fra boka 
som jag fann mycket intressant. The wonderful box. There was once a woman who had a large house in the country. She was very careless, and therefore everything was going wrong inside the house. She was in great trouble and did not know what to do. In the village close at hand lived an old man who was thought to be very wise. She sent she went to him, told him all about her troubles, and asked him to advise her what she should do to make things go on better at home. The old man heard her story and asked her some questions in order to find out how matters stood. Then he asked her to wait a moment, went into another room and came back again bringing with him a strange looking box which was carefully sealed. Here said he, take this box, keep it for one year, and do with it just what I tell you, and I'm sure you'll find, by the end of the year, that things are getting better. What you are to do with the box is this, three times every day and three times every night, you must carry it into the kitchen, and the cellar, and the stable, and set it down in each corner. Do that, and bring the box back to me at the end of the year, and tell me how you're getting on. Goodbye! The woman took the wonderful box, with many thanks, and carried it carefully home. She began at once to carry out the old man's directions, and in doing this she soon found out that it was uh, uh, that it what it was made what it was that made things go on so badly. One day, uh, on carrying the box into the cellar, she found one of the servants drinking the beer, and she puts a stop to that. Another day, on carrying the box into the kitchen, she found another of the servants giving away some tea and sugar to an acquaintance who had uh, come to see her. She put a stop to that too. Another day, on going into the stable with the box, she found that the best cow uh, was very ill, and no one to look to her, and the horse left in the stall without out in the manger or any hay in the rack. She had this thing stopped at once, and so she went on, finding everywhere something wrong and putting it right at once. At the end of the year, she carried the wonderful box back to the old man and told him what a change it had brought about in her house, and begged him to let her keep it a little longer. I can't let you keep the box, said the old man smiling. But you can have the secret that's locked up in it. Then he opened the box, which had nothing in it but a slip of paper, on which were these two things. If you would have things as they ought to be, yourself must ever be. That's 
so the ball and one else gave it and Yeah. <laughs> 